Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be looking into your uh, financial forecast, career, money. Is there anything coming your way or maybe school if you're wanting to know about those material things? And uh, this reading is intended for sun, moon or rising. If you have any of those in your chart, it might actually resonate with you. I will also leave a link up here and in the description box below. If you would like a private reading from me, you can go ahead and book your reading from there. I also want to thank you for being here, being an amazing supporter of the channel. So if you haven't subscribed already, maybe you haven't watched my channel for a while, subscription is a free tool to support the channel. You can hit subscribe button and the bell icon and support the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this one, okay? Let's jump in. These are pre-shuffled cards and uh, I meditated in your reading before I start and we're gonna see what kind of animals this is a spirit animal we have a bat coming forward for this financial stuff coming in this month we have hmm, attraction and magnetism beautiful and your angel message is coming from archangel shamael okay i'm gonna get to those at the end of your reading we're gonna read the cup at first okay let's jump in i see tears of joy i don't know if you guys can see it falling out of your cup three three tears of joy um, so this can be unexpected three different news and this can be three different endeavors that you're actually wanting to come forward. I don't know if you guys can see that there is actually a, a fly right there. There was a fly outside of your window. Basically, um, there might be a fly on the wall hearing everything that you're saying. Uh, this can be at work. So uh, this can be someone who is maybe spying on you but i don't feel like they have bad intentions still but they can be actually set onto a course by someone who is uh maybe spying on you basically like be aware of that and um for example maybe you're working somewhere and you want to move on you had another you have another interview with another company and uh, you know you have good news on your side maybe you're thinking somebody's actually um, your friend, when you're talking to them, somebody in the background there, you don't even recognize. You don't even know that they're there. Might be listening. Be aware of that, okay? Um, so that might be causing your compensation and all that stuff. Be aware of that. Let's see. Um, I see there's a male figure here. Kind of reminds me of um, someone who's actually eating like an apple. This is a pleasure moment and there's a martini glass type of a glass in front of this person. So this can be someone who is, it can be your energy, maybe within a week or so, within the first week, you're going to be able to uh, do things that are going to be pleasurable to you. And the cup usually indicates emotionally fulfilling new offer. This can be a job opportunity, a new thing coming forward. There's a house right here. I don't know if you guys are planning to buy a house and move to a new place. The, it's appearing it's not really clear cut clear it's not on the ground it is an idea it's coming forward so it seems like here you're going to probably connect with uh, this energy maybe you're starting to connect with the energy or think about it plan about it or if you're looking for some place this is going to be appearing in your in, uh, aura in your uh, field maybe uh, you're going to see it online or somebody's going to show you or when you're maybe on your daily path you're just going to come across and see that something so near close by to your job or maybe your family if that's what you're wanting so be in the like have that open eye there's another woman here this person is leaning on to so if you take this person who's having a pleasurable moment with the apple and the martini and this can be you leaning on to someone a woman seems like with a like a cap that they're wearing she has a duck on top of her cap now it makes a difference because duck can be symbolizing the full card starting anew so this can be the women that is being leaned on can be you maybe your nurturing side protective side is actually somebody's trying to lean on to that uh, uh, to carry out their pleasure okay so it seems like but you're smiling here this can be someone that you want to help and so i'm going to take it as um, maybe if you're in service business, this can be someone who actually has a lot of good potential to become your long-term customer, long-term client. And maybe they're going to be getting a lot of pleasure out of what you're giving them as a service, okay? A service 
or product doesn't have to be something specific and uh, if you're not working this can be like a new idea of a partnership maybe some investor maybe if you want to make money and uh, you have ideas you might be finding someone who's already in a very pleasurable moment they don't really need you to bring them in something return like an angel investor can be actually like uh, holding your shoulder in the case that they're going to be helping you out can also be indicative of an authority figure i kind of see here this reminds me of um i'm gonna say greek statues but i know that there's not many left we have the, today what we have is most of the statues that we see are roman statues actually and um this is a statue of there's many you can see athena athena is a warrior is this woman remind me of her with her sword she's leaning on to and she has this like um mm, this war thing on her head yeah she's like when you look at the aphrodites or venus and um there was this girl called celine like i had this um museum in my city we have this kind of like a roman sculptures this mostly reminds me of the Athena. Um, okay, Athena is, I think she is, that's a she, um, like a warrior type of a woman. And they were expecting her to be feminine, but she turned out to be masculine. But the thing is, uh, she also carries the feminine energy here. Within the second week, this person is appearing here in your, right next to this person's offering. And like, the warrior energy means that this person is a go-getter they don't sit down and wait the things to actually evolve by itself and it seems like you're going to be embodying this energy you're going to be maybe connecting with like getting this offer and running with it you're not going to be just leaving it to the luck to just the luck to take over it and i see there's a pathway opening here for you when you actually take that chance this woman is actually showing up here again there's a this kind of looks like a brainstem um i don't know if you've seen the um sistine chapel i think it's from the leonardo DiCaprio. you see the adam reaching out to the god and god is reaching out to the adam and uh that kind of like a scene and when you look at where the god is god is actually inside of this cloud but the cloud is shaped like this so everything is mental mental in the sense of your mind is creating it and um sometimes we are in the flow and the things actually flow into your, our life without our understanding with our, our conscious but i feel like within this month your mental state is extremely important whatever that you focus on is actually going to either uh, create beautiful opportunities into your life or they're going to create it but you're not going to be able to take it because if you're not in the right mental state okay so be very mindful of that and this can also be because of the brain that that's uh, reminds me of that thing um a good idea might be coming up okay but it's at the end of a path so this can come through maybe an adventure maybe a small trip that you're going to be taking or maybe like a gathering that you're going to be attending so uh be in the lookout for these kind of things i see a legal paper coming up here too and this looks like there's a person's face here this can be indicative of legal accomplishment there's a snake appearing here. Snake indicates Kundalini energy also health matters. So if you're in the health industry, this can be like an upgrade also your job. There's a cow here, which indicates fertility. And there are two horses. Two horses can be chariot. But now I look at the, the other day, I was looking at the chariot. Actually, they're not horses. They're Sphinx. Sphinx uh, was um, speculated that the head wasn't actually... Um, a pharaoh's face it was a, 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 a tiger or what is that animal like a cat cat <laughs> cat variety basically so i feel like this we have horses here but the cat energy is when the, you go go to the wild cats it's an active energy it's a hunter energy okay you might embody that one i see a heart shape here but it's going to be heart shape indicates it's not going to be wild it's going to be in a loving manner and two horses double horses indicates that whatever that you're putting your mind into even if you're not seeing the results 
keep going afterwards after it because it is going to be uh like coming like when the time is right it is going to flow like this two galloping horses towards you You see the mouses of the horse i see an elephant head here which indicates long time stability and i see a woman here she has one baby in her lap one baby here one child here so a woman with three children three of pentacles can be like this is her three pentacles three of pentacles indicates teamwork coming together with the people that you love to work with and enjoying that partnership friendship also here i feel like because she has three pentacles this can be some like um power team that powerhouse like the people that you uh, align together coming and creating something beautiful okay it can be also family members it doesn't have to be always professional but or friends that are supporting what you're doing at this moment so your pentacles also indicates your hard work being appreciated and understood and um, being seen let's get into your plate now if you have a question a desire an intention hold it in your mind let's see what the answer is going to be the snake appears again. I know this is like about financials in school, but if you go, if you maybe your desire is not really showing up. Okay. Let's see if something else is available for you. So the thing is, there's another thing, but it's, it's going to start small. So if you're wanting to do something new, and maybe if you have, for example, you have something already in your hand, you're working somewhere and you're expecting them to give you like a big raise or a promotion. And if it's not showing up and you have another plan B, that might be like a better option for you because it seems like it is coming forward. Uh, I'm not saying let go of your plan A, but uh, know that plan B is definitely working out. We have tears of joy here. This is going to be something unexpectedly showing up in your life. And um, the snake here, like I said, can be like a medical. If you're doing like working in the medical field, that can be like a victorious moment for you in your work, in your what you're doing. Okay, maybe going to school, maybe acceptance. I see there's a male figure here. He's riding a herd. Can be a shepherd. You can be the shepherd. You might have a herd um, that is following you or maybe you're going to get into that position there's a massive chunk of money in your heart space and there's a heart shape even forming here when you look at the under under it kind of looks like a letter v as well this can be some sort of a victory that you're going to be manifesting but it has some time like you are crossing over with your herd here so the uh, herd can be your people or if you have people that you're managing those can be that and um or like if you have an idea and you're like uh, maybe working on that collecting people um like creating maybe influence um that influence will be at the end bringing you this wealth okay let's see what's happening with your tarot week by week this is the tarot of mystical moments okay from Catherine Weltstein. Okay. Let's see what your angels, spirits, and guides sending you as a message. What are the energies of the week? I want to mention. Okay, the devil wants to come forth. It's gonna come forth. This is the first week devil showing up here for you. Devil indicates obsessive thought. Okay, maybe you're obsessively thinking about something. We have the Five of Swords, Four of Wands, beautiful, and Eight of Cups. Why Eight of Cups? Hmm. Okay, so you can. Okay, let's get to it. The devil indicates that within a week, within the first week, you're going to have some obsessive thoughts. Maybe uh, bad habits can take over. Maybe you're battling with the thoughts in your mind that are actually get, getting you, making you feel stuck in a situation. You might be, <clears throat> because you're overthinking things, you might be having a hard time to see the truth behind the reality, okay? This is just the ego talk. It's not your truth. It's not your higher self. There is a better way, and you are capable of finding that better way. So do not just fall victim to your thoughts. And it's okay to have obsessive thoughts, but do not indulge in them. Do not <clears throat> feed off of them. Okay, this is going to be like the first week's energy. But the second week, we have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords indicates that um, going from trials and tribulation is one thing. Another thing is winning at all costs. And 
she won this man's heart, but what all costs? Like what the what, what was the cost? I see here like you know the heart is stitched up, but it's not really the real heart right there. So this can be actually like she has her heart where her heart is, but it is actually like a dried up soil. So maybe you're working too hard for something that is not really going to pay off at the end of the day. That can be one in interpretation. So maybe you need to actually be absolutely honest with yourself and sit down and analyze that. And the second thing is, this can also symbolize being resilient, okay? But as an advice, I feel like Five of Swords is telling you, if you're like pushing too hard and um, if it's draining your all your energy maybe you're doing something wrong okay it's time to change the strategy here it's time to reassess the situation this is like a coming like an advice card here but if you take it as the straight up the meaning the meaning is doing everything it takes in order to <clears throat> accomplish what you're wanting okay so um yeah you can reconsider those things and um if your situation is, is something that people really get by hard work keep up the hard work okay but changing strategy can also be extremely helpful four of ones is nobody got this card by by the way and i feel like when you change your strategy there is going to be a change also coming and the celebration is coming four of ones we see a massive building here two people are dancing on top of it usually this indicates four ones four trees is celebration wedding maybe people coming together a cycle is ending a new beginning is coming forward the birds indicates communication even though we are in mercury retrograde which is the time for uh like mercury controls the social events socialization social being social with people um friendships like communication and there might be misunderstandings during that timeline from 4th to 27th i guess from august but uh it seems like you're not gonna have those problems it's not gonna be extremely effective on you you're going to have this beautiful celebration and if you are on the path of um like a mission that mission will be completed okay very successfully and when it comes to <clears throat> fourth week what i have here is initially we have eight of cups eight of cups symbolizes that oh, there's a beautiful she's wearing a beautiful dress of a ladybug new beginning you're walking away from some things that you completed now you get over and done with you don't have to go through it again and just it's time to walk away if you're holding it too, too like it's too long this can be about um an investment maybe a school that you completed but you're trying to actually get like an uh you know a assistant job in there but it's not really expect accepting you maybe there's a better option for you out there so you should just stop pushing that one and try to find other options that are actually willing to work with you they want you it doesn't mean that is rejection what they don't want is re it's not rejection it's preference just think of it that way it's preference and maybe in the future you're not even going to be preferring to be in there okay so just look at the things in a different perspective here because death indicates that there's this era is ending in your life when it comes to financials this can even be like the mindset maybe if you have like a lack mentality and you're seeing the abundance of things and you may be throwing your back into yourself back into saying okay there's not enough in the world uh, everything is like uh you know in scarce if that's the thing but your mind keeps changing into like uh, seeing the abundance of the birds and the bees and all the things the leaves everything has abundance when you start to see that um you know it might actually bring some nostalgia even the death card indicates that you're ending a cycle now there's going to be a new beginning coming forward the sun is going to be shining from the background and you're going to be leaving what doesn't serve you anymore to the hierophant indicates being the authority this is actually structure institution government this can be like finding a job in the government like i said the example was maybe you are in some place that don't want you anymore you might be feeling sad about it but there's a better opportunity maybe even the leadership possibility coming here for you with the hierophant energy this is taurus energy so trust that okay do not doubt your angels uh, what they're bringing you we have bat here bats are actually extremely cute animals i don't know if you ever um watch those kind of videos of little bats like uh, yawning and stuff like that and um, but they tend to be sometimes they tend to be dangerous but they're like there's a moon up there full moon behind the bat full moon in coffee cup readings indicate wish fulfillment okay 
But this is all about darkness letting go, death leading to rebirth. There you go. Double confirmation here for you. Deferred merging the bat that waits for the sun to set and the moon to rise. In the darkness, it can see all that was invisible in the dark light, daylight hours. Another thing just came to my mind is maybe you're living in a certain situation where you see a new house, new opportunity coming your way. I saw a house in your cup. Maybe you want to leave a city or you want to leave a neighborhood or an apartment that you're living in and you're feeling desperate. Maybe you feel like there's no other option, but it seems like here, there's gonna be even a bit better option. The Hierophant can be like institution having your own authority. This thing just popped into my head. Maybe you're living in an apartment building, but you're going to get the chance to move into your own house with your own backyard, okay? So uh, the nostalgia can come in when you're moving out of a house and looking at the, the memories and the empty space and just living that can come. But uh, when you move into your new space, you're going to have new opportunities to make beautiful memories here, okay? So cannot be clear right now, but the bat actually says that it is going to become clear. This one shows up to signify the ending of a chapter, the closing of a door, the bat comes swiftly encouraging us to move on. In just a few hours, a new day dawns, no more lingering in the past. When in balance, you would feel accepting, adapting, and adjusting. And when you're feeling out of balance during this month, you might refuse to let go, okay? And uh, what brings balance is a very good advice that you can actually go ahead and watch the sunset, okay? That can boost that energy and saying, okay, there's a new day always happening every single day, okay? And there's new things always coming with that too. Magnetism is attraction here and know your values and needs so you are more aware of what your true attractions are. Do not run with the herd. Notice what or who you attract. Is this your intent? There's always nemesis, opposite energy to endeavor you might take, uh, any endeavor you might take. This should not bother you as it's a natural law. So the new environment that you walk in, you're gonna be attracting a lot of good things, but you might also have some negativities as well. Do not let that rule you. You rule the negativity. Tell them, I am positive, I'm loving, I'm caring, I am abundant, okay? Any like negative thing coming forth, do not let it to um, rain on your parade, basically. Archangel Shamuel. This one works on the pink ray of love and being blessed with the Archangel card indicates that you are ready to open your heart to unconditional love. Pink ray of light. I think the Uriel come to for another um, sign this week. Pink is the same color, though. Pink is the color of love. Love has no restrictions and accepts all people as they are, nor does it judge. True love is so powerful that it dissolves hurt, anger, and separation. Let love flow from your heart and touch your loved ones, those who you dislike and strangers. This creates a bridge of light which the angels can move along to bring hope and peace. In return, your life will be blessed and filled with love. Okay? Right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.